Thai, the essential savory recipe, coming right up on Weekend at the Cottage. Welcome to Weekend at the Cottage. I'm Nick Manoilovic. It is the essential, a cottage pie recipe. It is always such a great wow because I think it's kind of one of those ultimate comfort foods. Before I show you how to make our cottage pie, how about a reminder? You're watching this video right now on our YouTube channel, so since you are, why not subscribe to our channel at the end of this video? Once you see how delicious this recipe turns out, I know you're going to want to check out the full story and tips available on our website, weekendatthecottage.com. You can subscribe to that as well. Finally, why not find and follow us on your favorite socials like Pinterest, The Gram, Facebook, and Twitter. Okay, before I start the recipe, I think it's important to clarify something. I'm not making shepherd's pie, because if this was shepherd's pie, I'd be using ground lamb. Instead, this is a cottage pie because it's made with ground beef. Second thing, just saying, a cottage pie is topped with mashed potatoes and you're gonna wanna make our rustic Parmesan mashed potatoes. Just click up here. These potatoes work perfectly with the filling we're gonna make. Let's head to stove top and make that filling now. Remember when you go to do this at home, just keep it light and easy. Kind of go with your instincts. You'll have great success. We have a large pot, medium high heat. I'm adding two tablespoons of vegetable oil. I have one onion finely diced. I have just a little bit of garlic. I know normally I put tons of garlic and stuff, just two cloves, finely chopped, and then two ribs of celery, also chopped. Stir those ingredients in, lid goes on. We're gonna cook them for about five minutes till they get nice and soft. Lid comes off, where's the beef? It's going in the pot. We have two pounds of lean ground beef and I like adding the beef little by little. Add a little bit, stir the heck out of it, it breaks up, it gets nice and brown. Add some more and keep going until all of the meat is incorporated with the onions, garlic and celery. Time to season our cottage pie. I have one teaspoon of black pepper, one teaspoon kosher salt a teaspoon of dried thyme and a teaspoon of dried oregano. Add those ingredients in and stir them in. Now we're gonna give the filling a little bit of bulk. I have two tablespoons of flour. Just sprinkle it over the meat, stir it in, let it cook for about two minutes, and then we're taking beef stock. I use about two thirds of a cup. Uh, pour it in and then stir. Allow this mixture to thicken up a little bit as your stock comes to temperature. Now we get to build the flavor profile. Two tablespoons of tomato paste. Add one teaspoon of Dijon mustard. Stir everything in. Then we're taking our pot to our work surface and we're gonna add frozen vegetables. Like I said, I wanna keep this simple. I'm adding one cup of frozen corn and then one cup of a carrot pea mixture Stir in your frozen vegetables. Now it's time to assemble the cottage pie. I have a nine by 13 casserole. We're not buttering it. Instead, I'm transferring that mixture in and kind of just tamp it down lightly. Make sure that filling goes right to the edges of your pan. Now we're taking our Parmesan mashed potatoes and I do like little dollops. So dollop, dollop, and go all the way across with clumps and then just gently smooth the mashed potatoes out right to the edge. I mean. You're trying to do a seal, but usually I get a little bit of bubble up. We're ready to place this into the oven. Our oven is preheated to 400 degrees. Make sure you place your pie onto a foiled line baking sheet. There may be some bubbling over. We're transferring to the oven and we're gonna bake for 30 minutes. You know your pie is done when the top gets crispy, the filling gets bubbly. Take your cottage pie out of the oven, let it sit for maybe 10, 15 minutes before you head to table to enjoy. When you go to serve, keep it simple. Maybe a green salad. This meal welcomes a glass of red wine, a beer, your favorite beverage. Let's hear it for cottage pie. And when you make it, do like we do in cottage country and savor every bite. Ooh, potatoes filling. Mmm, beauty. Yep, that's it.